Good evening, everyone. Uh, Mr. Suarez, Juan Suarez, our junior high principal, is with us here tonight. This is our uh, most recent edition of Facebook Live. And Mr. Suarez, thanks for coming to thanks join me. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. This is my first time being in a uh, Facebook Live. So I'm <laughs> looking right. forward to the experience and seeing what it's all about. And hopefully, we get to um, hear from you guys as well. And that's get to idea. know each other better. That's the idea. Uh, Mr. Suarez was surprised it wasn't just on someone's phone because that's what most <laughs> Facebook Lives are anymore. But we're a, we're a little bit more than that. We're trying to set the bar a little higher for that. But I'm really um, pleased to have some time to talk with Mr. Suarez. Mr. Suarez. Okay, I'm gonna mute that. That's a. We're not gonna win the Oscar anymore. That's what happens uh, when you turn it on to monitor yeah. any questions <laughs> we might get. Yes, this is amateur uh, TV, right? But you know, the, the opportunity for Mr. Suarez to come and just let everyone meet you because mm -hmm. we know, um, those of you that know you, what an engaging personality uh, you are and how fun uh, you are, but they also may not know a little bit about your background and some of your ideas mm -hmm. for the junior high and being that uh, I was on the interview committee and part of the selection yeah. team. I know all this, but there's a lot of people I think who may be curious mm -hmm. about um, uh, where you've been. So why don't you just introduce yourself, tell us a little Perfect. bit about your, yeah. you know, your professional background and uh, I know you're a proud husband and father and so we want to know a little bit about that oh, and so yeah. let them know who we are. All uh, right. Fascinating. All right. We'll, we'll go ahead and get started. So um, a little bit about me. I'm, I'm very passionate about student learning because in my experiences I was a student um, first when I first arrived to the United States I was born and raised in San Luis Potosí Mexico anyone from <laughs> over there looking uh, and um, and I came to the United States when I was 14 years old so for me being uh, at the junior high right now it's it's an awesome experience because I get to work with students um, and with teachers um, just like when I was a student as a 14 year old in a junior yeah. high um, English is my second language, so I apologize if I mispronounce something, so say some things a little bit funny. I know that sometimes um, when I'm talking in English, my wife just kind of goes like this. That's not how we <laughs> say that out of here. Right. Um, but um, I used to be a high school teacher, an ESL teacher in Dundee Crown High School over in School District 300, and then um, I spent most of my career in that district. I was a district administrator. I oversaw the dual language programs there and also work under the grants department. Um, then I venture into the elementary world. So as a high school person, being in the elementary was a little bit different, but it was an awesome experience. I was an assistant principal and now I'm at the junior high. So I'm trying to get a so you've Big seen high school, high school, little guys, little guys and now elementary. The, the, the uh, yep, and then I also work at the uh, district level. So right. um, it, it helped me grow as a professional, and it helped right. me kind of understand um, how all different aspects of a school district function in order for us to support our students better and to help them achieve at high levels, which is always um, what I, we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I good. think that now, it's been good. One of the things that really was interesting for us to listen to in your interview mm -hmm. was talk about what you mentioned earlier is that ability to relate to students who have been through um, the experience of being in a new place mm -hmm. and with a language that's new. And so what does that perspective help you do to empathize with students who are, you know, junior high is weird enough for, yeah. for all of us, right? Mm -hmm. But then if there's language things mm -hmm. and I'm getting used, how does that help you, you know, create a climate? Because I know one of the things we've talked about is the climate of the junior high yes. is something we really focus mm -hmm. on. How do you create that climate with, you know, your background and mm -hmm. what is it that's important to you that mm -hmm. the junior high will be known for as you're creating yeah. that culture mm -hmm. and climate? Yeah, well, um, one thing that I'm, um, my message to my staff and my message to the students and now to, to you guys who are watching here um, is the importance of building relationships, you know. Um, sometimes when I work with teachers or when I talk to parents and they tell me like, well, what's the, like the one teaching strategy that would always work and would always have a high impact with our students? And I always say, relationships. Get to know your students for who they are. Get to know the kids for what they bring to the table. What are their personalities? What are their mm -hmm. struggles? What are their challenges? What are the, the things that are passionate um, that interests them? Because 
when you build a connection with the students, when you build a relationship with them, then you can really teach them. Um, so in terms of a, a, a culture, in terms of a climate at the junior high, I, I'm really working really hard with the staff in um, building relationships. Um, we need to get to know each other. We need to work together. We're a people business. Um, and the more that we can function as a people business, the better we're going to be um, as a school, as an organization, and, and the more efficient that we are, it's going to benefit the students and, and their learning. Um, now, I have a sixth grader uh, of my own, so yeah. I know sometimes the way you care for those uh, sixth graders is a little challenging because they can kind of drive you crazy right. sometimes. <laughs> so how do you create that culture? Because one thing when I came to the district mm -hmm. um, that people said is, you know, there's a bullying issue at the mm -hmm. junior high, and so we're trying to address that. and and let people know that if you have any issues with that, come mm -hmm. talk to us because we want right. to solve it. Yes. We, that's really important mm -hmm. to us. Yep. And so um, I know that sometimes the, the personalities of 6th, mm -hmm. 7th, and 8th graders can be a little challenging. Mm -hmm. How do you wade through that? Just to remember, we're trying to help them get through that, mm -hmm. but we're also trying to help them increase these skills that are important well, to them course, academically yeah. at yeah. the same time. Mm -hmm. And how, how do you do that? Because that's, that's got to be a challenge. Mm -hmm. I was a high school principal, and people th said, oh, I don't know how you do it. And I said, I could never be a junior high principal. That's really <laughs> where they're making their money, right? Well, you know, I for, for me, I always think that it's important to think, when we're working with students, to think about ways that we can intervene whenever we find that there's a struggle. And sometimes the struggle with the students is just they don't know certain behaviors, right? They haven't um, experienced certain things in their life to know what's appropriate, what's not appropriate. Um, and they engage in, in behaviors that sometimes are not as appropriate in a school setting. Um, as adults and as leaders in the school, we need to be able to recognize that you know what, maybe the student is engaging in this type of behavior not because they want to be malicious or because they want to be disrespectful, but because they don't know what is the appropriate way to behave. Right. right. So right. Um, we see it in the lunchroom all the time, right? Where like students are watching a video and they're hanging out and they're pointing to something and then they go, oh, and they like smack each other, right? And then they're like, oh, you hit me. I'm going to hit you back. Yeah. And then that rough plane turns yeah. into right. something. Someone's mad. So, so, someone, right. is, someone is mad. Um, so what we do, we um, actually change the language at the junior high. Instead of saying we're going to assign a consequence for your behavior, mm -hmm. we say we're going to assign an intervention. Okay. Um, and our interventions could range from um, proactive measures, such as working where our behavior intervention is, to do restorative practices and where we get the kids to sit down and reflect about, mm -hmm. hey, this is what happened at, at, the, at the lunchroom. Why, why did you get in that little conflict? Oh, we were watching a video and we were playing and then he, we, he hit me right. and it kind of hurt, right? right, right. Um, so we engage him in dialogue and, and, and reflection about, okay, how could you have done that interaction a right. little bit different? And um, what's good about the interaction, what's bad about the interaction, and then get engage them in mm -hmm. thinking about okay next time when i'm with my friends yeah. maybe i shouldn't do that so that's a little different i guess conceptually and maybe that's what hopefully parents are noticing that we're not so interested in mm -hmm. just um figuring out what happened and right. figuring out who's the bad Correct. guy yeah discipline happens no. it's trying to figure out what's the root causes why yes. did this occur yes. and then teach a little bit right. so that yes. that's not repeated because yep. sometimes when you say you get a detention right yeah they don't know how to mm -hmm. avoid it for the next right. time so is that kind of what we're trying that, to do that's what we're trying to do we're trying to get them to reflect about um the the consequences in a way you know of their actions mm -hmm. um, because every action every action is going to cause a reaction I always tell the students that and I sure. tell the staff that right. um, so we need to start thinking we need to help them to think and to reflect right. about how their actions is causing a reaction mm -hmm. in other people not um, always easy for a six seven, exactly eight, yeah eight. and and we have those conversations with the students sure. every day you know mr manny mr edwards mr yeah. harmer mrs uh uh, Coaster, Mrs. Yeah. Uh, Grady, yeah. our social workers, we have those conversations with them because we really don't want to get students in trouble, right? We're not sure. there to get students in trouble. We're get, there to help them 
um, learn yeah. about academics, their social yeah. interactions, their emotional state, um, yeah. so that they could really focus on what's important at the junior high. Well, and, you do have and a do great that. team, and I guess yeah. let's talk about that a little bit. You know, if you came from District 300 mm -hmm. to yeah. Harvard, um, there's probably some things that you noticed. So what are some of the things that you're starting to grow to like about uh, working in District 50 and at the junior high? What are some of those yeah. things? And by the way, if you want to make comments uh, or ask Mr. Suarez a question, feel free to use the comment box and we'll, a we'll ask him those questions live yeah. and have opportunity for yeah. some live feedback. But tell us a little bit about the junior high and you know yeah. what you're learning because you never really know. I mean, you can do plenty of research before right. an interview, but now that you're the principal, <laughs> what do you know about our yeah. junior high? You know, um, the junior high has an interesting personality, and I love it. You know, mm -hmm. the people there are so passionate about mm -hmm. our kids, um, and they're not scared to show that passion. They are willing to fight for all of our kids, you know. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, um, as, a, as a new principal, and I say, hey guys, I have this idea, let's try this, um, you have people who are like, all right, let's do this. Mm -hmm. How do we do it? Mm -hmm. When do we start? Is I it good it. for our kids? Let's go. And then you have other people who are like, hold on, Mr. Suarez. Right. Why are we doing that? Mm -hmm. How is that going to benefit our kids? Right. Help me understand your vision. Help me understand your idea. And then once we engage in the dialogue, and that's all I ask, right, from people at the junior high that, that we talked about or that we engage together in the conversation, mm -hmm so that we get in the similar page and once we know and once they know they're like okay i i get it oh. i have some suggestions let's try this we continue with the dialogue sure. and then everybody's willing to jump in and, and, so and maybe and get share some work done. share with everyone a little bit then some of the things that you think are some of the goals i know your school improvement mm -hmm. team's been working yes uh, really hard and mm -hmm. so what are some of those things that are really you feel are noticeable and the team has yeah. really started to identify as if we really got at these things, it would really make a significant mm -hmm. difference for yeah. us. So at the junior high, we're currently working on creating uh, team SMART goals. Um, just so you know a little bit about how the junior high is structured. So we have a, a sixth grade team, a seventh grade team, and an eighth grade team. And the team consists of teachers from all the content areas. Um, We've been doing some learning together. So we've been studying what is a SMART goal. We've attended some professional development. How is it that SMART goals benefit um, the practice of teachers and the practice of everyone else in the school to benefit the learning of the students? Okay. Um, so currently, you know, uh, the teams meet on Wednesdays and Thursdays, and they are engaging on drafting some SMART goals. And the SMART goals are really designed to improve student learning to improve the climate of the school and the culture of our school. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something that I'm very proud because the teams over the last couple of months have been engaging in that yeah, uh, right. work and um, they're, they're working on some commitments, right? So they have this SMART goal and then what are some commitments? So what are we going to do wow. to accomplish our SMART goal? Like um, we um, are working with our second step curriculum, which is our social emotional uh, curriculum. We do binders in our hive as well. So uh, all of your students probably carry this big binder where they keep track of assignments. They have um, their student handbook. Um, they, the, where they write their, their, um, their homework. So all of our teachers are engaging in that conversation about how to better utilize these resources as a team so that students benefit. Right. So the SMART goals, is, is, uh, we're really working really yeah, hard right now. Well, it, the conversation seems to be different at the junior high because whenever I'm talking to teachers at the junior high, uh, the conversation is student this, student that. And I yeah. think you've done a good job of orientating that you know, our success is based on what students do and what, they're, what they're learning. Mm -hmm. We have skills that we want them to acquire, mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily about what we teach, it's what students are Correct, learning that yes. matters mm -hmm. most. And, um, you know, you've done some other neat things that are kind of uh, different, like uh, I, a lot of people in the community have told me how proud they are of the the national anthem that is sung oh, okay. before our event. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. you know, talk about that because you've really created a nice little <laughs> buzz about, uh, yeah. no, uh, no pun intended with uh -huh. being here in Harvard, but there's a nice buzz about kids yeah. being involved in that. Tell yeah. us a little about how that happened. So, so I got to give credit to Mr. Manning to that. He's the mastermind to that initiative. Uh, Mr. Manning is our uh, student facilitators for uh, student activities and a 
athletics. Um, and we do have um, different sports at the junior high. You know, we have soccer, cross country, volleyball. Right now we're in the uh, basketball season. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a great number of kids who also participate in fine arts, right? Mm -hmm. So we have um, we have our band and we have our choir. Sure. Uh, so Miss Boyet, who is fantastic in, in our music department, um, has collaborated with Mr. Manning. So at the beginning of every athletic event, we have students who are representing the fine arts department. Either they're gonna sing or they're gonna play some kind of instrument and Mr. Manning introduces them and sometimes That's we're great. there um, um, and they either sing or play the national anthem. Well, when I was there the other yeah. day, um, it was supposed to be a quartet and oh. uh, three other people had trouble with their instruments or something happened and she ended up playing a solo all by oh, herself and nice. I was so proud of her that she just stepped up confidently and played oh, yes. the national anthem yeah. for everyone and got a big round mm -hmm. of applause. It was yeah. really cool. So I, I think people can really feel that excitement about oh, yes. the junior high and yeah. things are going and I've heard that from a lot of people in the community. That's awesome. So, That's awesome. Um, are there anything else that you want to tell us about the junior high uh, that is kind of on your mind that you want everyone to know about mm -hmm. your idea and the vision for the future? Anything mm -hmm. in particular? Yeah. Um, well, you know, uh, we we drafted a, a pretty aggressive uh, school improvement plan. You know, me coming in as a new principal, um, I said, okay, guys, what's our vision, mm -hmm. right? Well, why do we exist and what is it that we need to do to, okay. to meet our vision? And, and some of the things that came... Uh, from that in our school improvement plan was we really need to involve families more in our school. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we're working really hard. I invite you to come over to the junior high. We're looking for volunteers. Um, we um, we need volunteers to help us update our bulletin boards, to help us put posters up in the school. Uh, recently, we just had a parent who came and helped us post our instructional framework posters in all of our classrooms, so mm -hmm. that was pretty cool. Um, we're looking um, for parents to volunteer in some of our different subcommittees for, for the school improvement plan so we have a subcommittee for uh, parent involvement a subcommittee for binders a subcommittee for okay. social emotional okay. a subcommittee so parents for parents just could reach out yes, to you reach email, out, email yep. and say I want to yeah, get involved I want to get involved Great. you know we do have a little form that we ask for them to sign so that we keep record of who's coming and who's volunteering okay. and um, and then we welcome them. Good. Um, we do have an event coming up next week, uh, Donuts with Mr. Suarez and ah, Coffee. Okay, um, so um, if you're interested, come on by. We're just going to hang out, and um, that's an opportunity for you to um, get to know me better, to ask me some questions, offer your feedback, um, and for us to engage in a collaborative uh, uh, conversation because so, we fantastic. need to work together if we really want to. Yeah support our kids. Now I've kept Mr. Suarez in suspense a little bit because in preparation for this uh, I've got an area called rapid fire questions yeah. and before we do that I want to give you a chance to tell us about your family. Uh, I know oh, that, that yeah. we kind of uh, went past that but I do want you to people to know that you're very much a family <laughs> family guy and very proud of your, yeah. uh, your wife and your girls. My wife Amanda, she's probably watching. <laughs> uh, I have um, two daughters, Gabby and Esme. Um, they're tornadoes. Um, <laughs> Gabby's four, SMS two, um, and they are so different. Um, my parents say um, Gabby is like the princess, you know, she mm -hmm. likes to drink tea and mm -hmm. paint her nails mm -hmm. and all that stuff, and Esme is the wrestler. All she right. likes to, she's a daredevil. She likes to jump around. Off the and, top rope, huh? Yeah, oh, yes, oh, yes. But That's yeah, they're, they're little and I love them to death. Um, they, they're the reason why I do what I do. Um, I th someone told me once that you truly become a better educator when you have your own mm -hmm. kids because you kind of see them personally. Yes. So. Yeah. All right, ready for rapid fire questions? Well, I'm a little nervous about that one because may I, I answer in Spanish in case I cannot? <laughs> uh, I kind of wanted to do that as a joke and just talk a little bit in Spanish um, so that we could. Un poquito. Un poquito. Um, porque um, uh, quise. Um, uh, Pensar que hay personas uh, uh, mirando que pensaste que um, pusaste uh, SAP button on oh, nuestro, uh, but it's not a live uh, program. So we're going to do a little bit of both. Uh, bit. Mr. Right. Suarez, uh, favorite food? Tacos. Tacos. All kinds. Chip. Carmitas, okay. chicken, steak, you name it. Um, first movie you watched in English that you can remember understanding? Oh, wow. 
That's a. Can I change it instead of a movie, a book? Sure, okay. sure, sure. So when I was a junior in high school, mm -hmm. um, I had this study hall class, and uh, the teacher said, "Here, read this book. It's in English, and the book is where the red fern grows." Oh, awesome book. Heartbreaker. Read the whole thing, understood every single detail of the plot except for one word. Hound. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of like an important word right. to learn about, to, yeah. to get the whole concept. Right. So at the end of it, I said to my teacher, oh, thank you so much for letting me have this book. This is an awesome, but there's <laughs> just one thing I, I don't understand. She's like, what is it? I go, what's a hound? Oh. And she says, you read the whole thing and you don't know what a hound is? I go, what is it? And she, yeah. she explained it, but yeah. that's probably... That was good. Well, better, that was probably better. like a moment where you're like, yes. wow, I'm yeah. developing some mm -hmm. skills there. That's kind of yeah. cool. Uh, favorite sports team? Chivas. Chivas. Um, favorite holiday? Dia de los Muertos. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'll say... Day of the Dead. Cuatro días. Yeah? See. Sí. Okay. Um, favorite uh, tie that you get out of your collection? You're a very sharp dresser, so what, oh, do you have a favorite God. tie? that Tie? You... Guys, I... My wife is probably looking right now, and she's probably like, oh, my God, Corey, why would you <laughs> ask that question? I I don't know. I have way too many ties. Oh. Um, and I don't think it's just about the tie. It's about the combination. Okay. You know, there so you, go. you have to mix it up. Uh, do you have a lucky number? O two. O two. O two. 2 O two. Why? Um, that's the year I graduated from high school, O okay. two. 2 um, Dundee Crown Charger. Dundee Crown Charger. Class of 02. Class of 02. So follow me on Twitter. J-S-U-A. J-S-U-A. O-2. O-2. Oh, that so explains that's, that's, it. That's Very that's good. O-2. Now we yeah. get it. Good. Very active on uh, Twitter, Mr. Suarez, with his professional learning network. Mm -hmm. uh, you can always reach out to him, and he's very active. And uh, someone that I, I think, I'm just like I said, when we hired you on, I was like, this guy is here to make a difference with our kids. And, and everyone that's had that interaction with him knows that um, there, whatever language his, uh, his mouth may become, there's no doubt what language his heart is. And that's the, the language of love that he cares about our building and for our kids. And he's making a huge difference in the culture of that building area. So, Mr. Suarez, we're thrilled you're here to join us in District 50. And um, I'm sure many more people will watch this and get to know you a little better. And hopefully Thank you. come over. Can principals come, or superintendents come to uh, meet Mr. Suarez and have a donut also? They, they can come oh, and eat good. a donut, Excellent. more than one donut if they like. We got coffee. Yeah, I got to better so, be good. Yeah. Uh, I only have one. But uh, thanks much for you're joining welcome. us. And thanks, Thank everyone, you. for taking yeah. time to meet Mr. Suarez in our Facebook Live event. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.